What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek and today's video I am going to show you how to get your ads at the top of Google search fast. Alright, so this is really, really simple and most people that I teach this to actually end up using this to determine what their ad group bids should be. And this is a really good, it's a really great way to do that because what you're going to do is um, have your, at your, you or your client's ads at the top, which is where you have to be. I mean, let's be realistic. You have to be at the top of Google. No one's scrolling to the bottom to click to get a service or buy stuff. It's just not realistic anymore. And this is a great way to determine where you need to start out your bidding. There's a few different metrics that we can use to do that. So if you can look uh, in my screen here, you'll see um, we're in one of our client accounts here, which is a junk removal guy. And I'm going to show you, this is a little, so what you're looking at is a little different though, because this guy is running a, um, an automated bidding strategy. I, I believe it's actually maximized clicks, or I'm sorry, maximized conversions. Let me just double check. Yeah. So he's running maximized conversions. So you're not going to be able to manually adjust bids on this. And that's okay, because they're doing really well. Google's doing a really good job, so I don't really care about um, getting to the top of the page or whatever. I'll let them figure it out. <laughs> but let's assume we are, we are doing our manual bidding here, and you're setting your ad group bids and your keyword bids and stuff like that. I'm going to show you exactly how you should determine what your ad group bid should be. And you should definitely do this after you build out your campaign. So you have your, camp, your campaign built, you have all your ad groups, you have all your keywords inside the ad groups and ads and all that stuff. And now you're just going to start going ad, ad group by ad group and deciding what you should be bidding um, an average, a round average. Cause obviously you don't want to overbid and, and spend too much money, but I mean, like I said, let's be realistic. You have to be on the top if you want leads fast. All right. There is no shortcut. If you're bidding too low, no one's going to see your ads and you're just going to get impressions and no clicks or low clicks and low conversions. And that's a problem especially if you're an agency and you're running ads for a client. So let's go into an ad group. Um, apartment clean out. This is so broad. I hate this ad group, but it is what it is. So we'll come up here to columns, attributes, and we'll get rid of this stuff. And what we want to look at is the estimated first page bid. So if you hover over, if you have any question about what these things are, just hover over it. It's going to tell you, and we want to do estimated first position bid, which is kind of self-explanatory. It's the estimated first position bid shows the amount you might need to bid for your ad to be displayed in the number one first position at the top of Google's search results. And I don't know why this one's up. Oh, there we go. So estimated first page bid is obviously, too, you, you're just it's telling you what you need to bid to just show on the first page, which could be anywhere on the first page. So actually, we don't want to, we don't want that metric because... That could tell you to bid X and it could show your ad at the bottom of the page. So we want first position bid. And this is the one we really care about. Estimate Estimated uh, top of the page bid. This column estimates the bid needed to get most of your impressions at the top of the first page of Google search results. Okay, so we're going to take those two. We're going to drop them. I actually want to put these down here. I like to look at them at the back. If it lets me, it's not going to let me. Nope. All right, we'll leave them there. So apply, and here we go. So now we got those, and they're not going to populate yet. Let's just try to do it on a bigger level. So let's do all keywords. Oh, it's not going to apply. All right, so anyway, if it did apply, if it did populate, which it might take, let me see if I can do it today. It's going to take some time to populate, unfortunately. They used to just pull up quickly. I don't know when that started changing. Yeah. All right. All right. So anyways, what you would do here is still do it how I said it. Take it back to the ad group level because it's too confusing with that. So you would go into your number one ad group, your first ad group, and you would have all your keywords in here. And why should you go into an ad group with more keywords? If I have an ad group with more keywords, hold on. This, is, this campaign is very dialed in. As you can see, it's all exact match. All right, so here we go. Here's a bunch of keywords in this one. Junk pickup is the ad group name. So we would we would assess um, the estimated first position bid, which usually is much higher than the estimated top of page bid. But we just kind of want to use this as a cross-reference point of where we should be bidding. Um, ideally, this is the only one you really should care about, is the estimated top of page bid. And what you're going to do is just kind of, so let's say for this, where's our average cost per click? It's not even showing me that. 
there we go. All right, so our average cost per click in this campaign over the last 30 days was 20 bucks. Now, estimated top of the page bid, I'm sure, is right around there. It's probably between 18 and 25 or 30. So that that's what you want to do. So let's, if we just came down and we said we had looked at estimated top of the page bids, what you could do, and it's a little time consuming, but it's definitely worth it, the effort, is you would take all of the estimated top of the page bids and just kind of average them together to get your starting ad group bid. And uh, that's that's a good way to go about it. And obviously, you gotta let you gotta do that, and you gotta let them run, and you gotta gather da data and stuff like that, and you know adjust them up or down based on you know what kind of what kind of uh, results you're getting. But that's pretty much how I would do it. Um, you could go crazy if you're if you have a client who's like, I need leads now, I need calls today, like I can't wait. I, you know, we we gotta get some leads through the door this week. Um, you can go a little higher with estimate first position bid, and um, do that it's if, if you're trying to do calls I would actually go into the devices then and I would turn off everything and just do mobile do a plus five or ten whatever bid and do mobile turn negative hundred percent computers negative hundred percent tablets do that and then set your uh, set your first position bids and just let it go nuts and um, that's how that's what we do if we have a client like that who's who needs leads really fast and they don't want to wait for anything and I know it's Kind of pain in the ass, but it's the best way to do it. All right, so if we come into another ad group, junk removal. Obviously, this ad group is killing it. Look at that conversion rate, 43% for this keyword. Wild. Um, so, yeah, you would just do the same thing. Estimate, you average all of your estimate top of the page bids. You can see here, we're at, right now, we're paying an average of $19 per click. <clears throat> 31 leads from this ad group, $45 a lead. <clears throat> so yeah, you would uh, just average them out and come up to your ad group, um, your bid, which I don't, I can't do here because this is an auto bid, and you'd be able to change your ad group bid to your average, and just drop your your average um, ad group bids in here based on your average keywords together. So I hope that helps. Um, it, it's really not that difficult to do this another good metric too and you've probably seen some other videos that I, I like to look at now because they don't allow average position anymore um, we like to look at impression top of the page impression share and absolute top of the page impression share so if you hover over absolute it says here <clears throat> use this metric to see whether changes in your performance are due to changes in your ad I don't want that uh, search absolute top impression share is the percent of your impressions that are shown at the very first ad above organic search results. So this is kind of like, in, in re relation to what we just learned, what I just taught you, this is kind of like estimated first position bid. This is kind of like estimated top of page bid. So this is impression share top percent. Search top in, search top impression rate is the percent of your impressions that are shown anywhere above the organic search results. All right, so that's this is another metric you want to look at too after you set your bids. And you have like a week or 30 days of data. You want to come in here and you can see. See, this is low. Google should be should be doing more with this. Because we're getting cheap leads with it too. So that's another drawback of letting Google do all your bidding. But we're killing it in other places. Ideally, you want your impression top impression share to, uh, to be in the 90s. So you can see here we are mostly in the 90s except for this one. And that's just something to keep in mind. Absolute top is obviously like the first position bid. And we got some some decent ones here, but these are two metrics you want to kind of cross reference with your your um, estimated top of page bids and stuff like that. So that's really it. That's how you're gonna get your ads on top of Google quickly. Um, it's not really. I mean, the best advice I can give you guys is to just let just set your do what I just told you. Set your ad group bids and just let it run and just see how it works out. And keep in mind too, you got to run good traffic to these. In these campaigns okay and go through my other videos and the AdWords tutorials if you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to sending relevant traffic to the landing pages because if you, if you have a shitty landing page and you're sending shit even if you right, so there's so many things have to fall into place for this to work okay Google Ads is not as easy as everyone thinks it is so you have to have good traffic going to a decent page that's turning these lead these uh, clicks into actual phone calls and contact form submissions so it, you can do all these metrics here I just showed you and send all this traffic you want, but if you don't have, if you're not, if your setup is not correct, you're going to get killed. Is my point. All right, so make sure before you start bidding high and stuff that you have your your campaigns are built correctly. You got a decent landing page. 
and you're ready to just start testing some traffic. Okay, just that's the best advice I can give you is make sure you have all your ducks in a row before you come out here and just start bidding 20 something dollars a click with your money or your client's money. So it's, it's important that we get these guys results fast. And this is one of the this is one of the little tips that that I do if, if we have, like I said, if we have a client who needs leads, you know, next this day or next day or this week sometime, this is the best and the fastest way to do it is to just get them to the top and just get as much clicks and get as much data as possible and start whittling down and optimizing from there. So hopefully this helps. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the little red subscribe button down on the bottom right of this video. If you have any questions about this uh, strategy or comments or anything like that, drop those in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys.